I drove 1,200 miles to fish Sam Rayburn and Toledo Bend in hopes of catching a Texas giant. Oh my goodness, it is a tank. Found our first tree with a ton of fish on it. Here it comes. These are the bellies we were expecting on our fish on Sam Rayburn. Got him. There we go. It is an absolute giant Texas crappie. Welcome. Welcome to evening number one. Still day one. Boat ramp is right there. And uh, one of the best places to find crappie, if you've never fished a lake before, is of course a bridge. I've actually caught two crappie. And all those you see on the live scope, I'm pretty sure they're crappie. I mean, it is a massive school of fish. Unfortunately, I don't think they're any, they look like they're all about a pound, which is, don't get me wrong, quality, quality eaters, but we don't come to Texas for one pound crappie. We come to Texas for two plus pound crappie. And the reason I actually wanted to try and fish this, well, there's two. One, it gets me out of the wind. Uh, the main lake, I don't know. There's some guys running it. That seems a little crazy to me. I took on quite a bit of water. I don't know if you guys can tell. My entire deck is soaked because I spiked about four or five waves or speared four or five waves. There's some big waves. This little creek arm's out of the wind. And we have some cypress trees which I've never fished before. So first let's, let's catch some of these crappie right here. Look at that, see that? Just a crap load of fish everywhere. I slowly inch towards this other group of them. And both of them I didn't even see on the live scope. I just felt the thump, which is always fun. But we've got one to turn, I think. Here comes one on the top jig. Yep, got him on the top jig. Yeah, these are all about one pounders. Yeah, this might be a little shy of a pound. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be shy of a pound. He's a black crappie. It's a super light black crappie. Yeah, he ain't gonna be a pound. There are a ton of them down there. Probably should get a new plastic because that one's beat up, but let's just see if we can catch some more fish. It says the, this, this must be the channel going up there. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna run up or down just yet. But I thought I saw a big one, a big fish right on the backside of this pillar. There's a tree right there. There he is. That, that feels like a better one. Not the tank, but this again would be a quality eating fish. I know where I'm coming tomorrow morning <laughs> to get my eaters for the lunch. That's for sure. Absolutely hammered it. Just inhaled it. I don't even know if I can get that out without a players. Well, I definitely know where I'm going tomorrow morning. Might even do a little catch and cook on the boat. I brought a little um, portable stove type of thing so might even try that not sure how I, I got a I got a pan I don't know fire on boats usually isn't a good thing but maybe all right let's uh maybe catch one more here I know I'm addicted to crappie fishing gotta just love that I didn't even see that one on live scope I just felt the boop maybe catch one more and then we'll run up or we'll idle up along these cypress trees up here Hopefully find a cypress tree in deep water. But look at where they are. They're right on the, the drop into this creek channel. That's where you're gonna find them this fall. Gosh dang, those look like two big ones. Don't they look like big ones? Oh, it looks like it gets, yeah, it looks like it gets shallow again. I don't know. Stuff like this. Let me know if you fish this where you're from, because I never, I never get to fish something like this. Um, cypress trees, and the reason cypress trees are really cool is they got a really big root system. You can see that. 
just how big that base of the root the roots are this crappie can hide in there so as i'm slowly trolling up the creek channel i'm focusing on the drop-offs of the creek channel if i can find any of these cypress trees with the big root systems right on the break it seems to be like where most of these crappie are set up it's a good place to target these fish during the fall. During the winter time, they're going to suspend in the middle of the creek channel where you can actually long line or spider rig. Probably be the most effective way to catch these fish. Ooh. Nice eater, but not what we want. Okay, that looks like a big fish. Did you see that? That looks like a big fish. Yeah, that looks like a big crappie. Or a big fish in general. Ooh, if that's a crappie, that's a giant. Nope, just saw him move. Not a crappie. These trees are absolutely loaded with fish. Problem is they're not the big fish we want. shouldn't complain it's day one and I've probably caught well I've easily caught my limit so far this afternoon on and off camera usually on the live scope when they start glowing up and down where it's like it's not only that ball but you start seeing a spike up and down from that image usually it means it's a little bit bigger of fish oh, that might be a good one Nope. I mean, it's a good fish. It's just not, not what we're looking for. Come here, bud. They are absolutely hammering it, though. These fish are aggressive. People talk about the fall bite. That's what they mean. These fish are going to hit super aggressive as these temperatures start dropping. I was talking to uh, Ken from Hook City. I think he's telling me about two weeks ago before I came down here. It was too dang hot and you need the temps to drop just so this bite could happen. Water temps are 67 degrees in here. And for Texas, this is cooler water temps. This is like the equivalent of an upper 50 degree water temp for us up north. It really triggered these fish. This part of this thing goes right through these cypress trees, which is awesome. Oh wow, that thing is loaded. I might be able to come here super early in the morning, catch a ton of fish, and cook them up for breakfast, and then come back out and catch more fish for lunch. I don't know, should we drop in, see what there's, what's down there? See what'll hit. Something's got it right away. If I was catching these in Wisconsin, I would be a very happy crappie angler right now. That is, that's a pound to pound and a quarter fish right there. That is a solid fish. Well, you know what? Cause you don't have to take my word for it. We'll throw them on the scale. One pound, one pound, three ounces. So just shy of a pound, pound and a quarter fish right there. That's why I was so surprised that that one fish was a 14 incher. What is this guy? And he was, a, Barely a pound and a quarter. This is a 13. That's a 13 right there. 13 and a quarter. They still, they're still skinny. I don't know. This time last year on Lake Fork, those fish were big. They're feeding up on shad. Their bellies were big. They weren't as big as they would be in the springtime, but they're they were definitely big. All right, let's keep going. That's a little bit better one, I think. Yep. There's some decent, decent crappie on this, on this bridge. That's for sure. Unfortunately, they're not the two pounders. I, I should stop complaining. I was honestly a little worried I wasn't going to catch anything this morning. Or any, you know, anything more the rest of the day. So to run into a pile of fish this big is uh, is pretty special. They're and they're they're choking it too. Like they're no doubters. 
It's another pound and a quarter fish, I bet. Uh, got the scale right here, throw it on him. See what we got. One pound, one pound three ounces. Yep. Basically a pound and a quarter. See you, bud. I know some of you are saying, why are you throwing all these fish back, Davis? These are good eaters. I thought I had another fish right away. I just got the bottom. Well, the reason I'm throwing them back is I already got something planned for uh, for dinner tonight. And that's gonna end it for the night. Decent fish. Tomorrow morning, you're going in the frying pan, bud. It's always really good to try, when you're fishing a new lake, find those spots where you're very confident that hold fish. And it's not so much about the finding fish part, it's trying to figure out, okay, what do these fish want to bite? Where are they sitting in the water column relative to a creek channel or to you know timber or pillars from a bridge or something? Oh, he's bleeding, I better get him back. Because then you can take what you learn from these confidence spots and go explore a new lake. See you, buddy. Sometimes, especially I, I travel quite a bit and fishing new lakes can be frustrating from, from time to time, especially, you know, we fish that finger, five finger cove or whatever it's called. And uh, those two fish right away thought, okay, we got something figured out. Went through those other coves this morning and or those other feeder creeks, didn't see anything that I really liked. Um, and it was kind of disappointing, you know, fish for four or five hours in a section of water like that and really walk away with only two decent fish. That's pretty disappointing. So in order to figure stuff out on a new lake, go to confidence spots like bridges or docks, something that will hold crappie year round, figure out what they want to hit and then go take what you learn from those confidence spots to new spots on the lake. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Again, 12 foot ACC rod, 1000 size PC Fun reel. This is the Carbon X. Get 18% off on PC Fun with promo code FLOPPING18. F-L-O-P-P-I-N-G, 18. FLOPPING18, get you 18% off. I'm going 10 pound braid. These are 3 16 ounce ACC jigs. And then I went with, most of them came off of this. It's pretty beat up. This is, this is the Crappie Monster Small Fry. Crappie Monster Small Fry. It's been a long day. It's hard to talk. 20% off Crappie Monster. Promo code DAVIS, all caps, all capital letters, D-A-V-I-S, will get you 20% off. I'm trying to look out for you guys the best that I can. All right, I'm going to get off the water. I got to get this boat fueled up because tomorrow, tomorrow we're actually coming here in the morning, do the catch and cook, but then I want to explore more of the lake and I need more boat gas for that. So. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Oh, these are good fish. I mean, they're quality eaters, not giants. Quality, quality eating fish. He's going on a lot well. Solid eaters.